Hello everyone, in this tutorial what I'll be covering is the PHP for each loop and the PHP for each loop is a special type of loop used to loop through arrays. Since I have only covered numeric arrays at the time of this video, I will only demonstrate the for each loop with numeric arrays, but I should also point out that the for each loop can be used with other types of arrays such as associative arrays or multidimensional arrays. So the first thing that I'm going to show you here is the basic syntax for a for each loop. So I'm going to create a comment block. And the way we start a for each loop is by typing the word for each without a space in between. Then we open our parentheses and then we type our array variable. And then we type the word as. Then we type another variable. And I'll explain what this variable does in a second. We close our parentheses, open a curly brace. Then next I'm going to say execute this code. And then we close our curly brace. All right, so let me quickly explain what's taking place here. Okay, first we have this word for each just to indicate that we are using the for each loop. Then again, we have our spot for our array. So we declared our array somewhere and we assign values to the different indexes in the array. So this is the spot for our array. Next, we have this variable called value and this can be named anything you like. What's taking place here with the for each loop is if there's an internal pointer that's pointing to the first index in the array. And as we know with the arrays, it starts with the index zero. So it's automatically having this internal pointer point to the first index in this array. So when it's pointing to that first index, what it's doing is it's taking the value in that index and assigning it to this variable value or the variable that you specified here. So after it does that, it begins to execute this code. After it's done executing this code, the internal pointer that's already pointing to index zero of our array is going to advance to the next spot in the array, which is going to be one. So if you have other values, it's going to advance to the next spot automatically. So we're going to complete this iteration or complete this cycle and come back up here. And again, this internal pointer is going to move to the next spot in the array. And it's again going to assign the value of that spot or that index or that element to this variable value. And again, we're going to execute this code. Now, this type of loop is not as simple to quickly grasp for most without giving a basic example. So that's what I'll do next to help demonstrate how the for each loop works. All right. So first, I'm going to write a comment and just say example. Next, I'm going to create a numeric array and I'm going to call it number, but I'm going to call it num for short. And we're going to say array, we're going to say 55, 900, 2, and 32. This array just holds numbers, just to keep it simple. So next, I'm going to start my for each loop. I'm going to say for each. Again, the first spot is for your array, which is num. I'm going to say as value. And again, these can be anything you want, but just trying to make it simple to understand. And then on the next line, I'm going to say echo. I'm going to say the current number is. I'm going to say value. Then I'm going to put a horizontal line and in that echo statement. Close my curly brace. And that's going to be it for this for each loop. All right, so let me just save this and I'll load it in my browser and then show you what happens. Then I'll come back and actually explain what's taking place here. So I'm going to save it as for each dot php come over to my browser and type localhost php basics and we're going to say for each hit enter and as you can see it's listing all the numbers that i typed in the array all right so let's come back over here to the text editor as we can see here i just declared an array and i assigned different values to it in no particular order and then here i start my for each loop now again what I stated before, we have an internal pointer that's pointing automatically to the first index, or if you want to think of it as the first spot in our array, which is zero. As it's pointing to that first spot, it's assigning the value of that spot, which is 55. This is our first spot in our array. It's assigning this value to this variable that we declared here called value. So it's just pointing to that first index. 55 or zero is assigning 55 to this variable. And then we come here to execute our code. So value 
currently now contains the value 55. So that's why the current number is 55 when we executed it. So after we complete this iteration or this first cycle, we come back up here and our pointer, our internal pointer is now advancing to the next spot in our array if we have one. So it sees that we have another value, which is 900. So this time the pointer is pointing to the next index, which is one. And it's assigning the value that's inside one to this variable value. And then again, we come here to execute that code. And now value contains the value 900. Again, we complete this iteration. We come back up here. It checks and sees that, okay, this array has another value and it's two. And we continue this cycling or these iterations until we have finished visiting all of these indexes in our array. It's a way that you can think about it. So again, going back to our browser, as you can see, it's showing 55 first, 900, 2, and 32. All right, so for some of you all who are still having a hard time grasping the concept about what's going on with the internal pointer and the index and the assigning of values to variables and all of these different things, I'm telling you, here's just a visual that I've came up with to hopefully help you to understand what's going on. So first, like I stated, we have this pointer internal pointer you can't see it but again you're understanding that that's what's going on you have this internal pointer that's automatically pointing to the first index which is zero and inside the index zero is the value 55 and then it takes this value and assigns it to this variable that we indicated called value so now value contains the number or the value 55 so after it completes that iteration, it's going to move to the next index. The internal pointer is going to move to the next index, which is one. Again, assign this value 900 to the variable value. And again, the variable now contains 900. And again, we're just going to com continue this process until we finish visiting all of these numbers or all of these indexes in this array. So that does conclude this tutorial. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure that you have a good understanding about how the PHP for each loop works. And I will see you in the next video.